Luzanne Kutsia is a 30-year-old Paralympian medalist and world record holder, long and middle distance athlete that has competed in two Paralympics and going for her third Games in Paris this year. She competes in the T11 disability class. She's joining us via Zoom where we're not exactly sure where she is. Good evening, Luzanne. Welcome to Sports Live. I want to find out where exactly are you in the world? No, I'm back home, so in our wonderful South Africa. So I'm back in Bloemfontein. We were we visited Dubai this week for a world, for a um, for a World Parathletics event, but I'm already settled back home, training, continuing training. So yeah. Well, superheroes have got to do trainings, and we know superheroes <laughs> wear capes. You are a superhero who has medals. How is it going in terms of training for the Paralympics? It's going really well. Um, we've completed our first sort of base block of training and we fortunately, I haven't had any injuries, you know, there's not been any niggles and obviously, you know, being a base block that is usually a high mileage block. Um, so for now, things are really going very well. We did a time trial this afternoon and it's looking good. So we know that every race has a story, right? Which yeah. upcoming event for you is the one that is the next chapter in your success and going for gold? We have a we have a um, we have the South African National Championships for the physically disabled, which will be taking place in March, where I think a lot of disabled athletes are going to look to qualify and to improve their rankings for the 2024 season. So um, for us, that is now first on our calendar. Um, and then we also have, um, I'm pacing the two oceans half marathon, the two hour bus in April. And yeah, then we're moving over into a very serious track season with a world championships in May and a few European races in June. So you did fantastically well with a silver. Now that wasn't just metal, it was a medal. Tell us about that. It was really amazing. It was my first international medal. Um, yeah, it was super special. There's really no words to describe, you know, South Africa's response to how it felt and, you know, just how how awesome it was to represent your country on that level and be able to achieve, achieve some success um, on the track. It was really awesome. And does that gear you up now for Paralympic glory that you're seeking? I hope so. I think, you know, our class is very strong. We have a lot of fast goals, so that's also going to help quite a bit. Um, so that keeps us motivated and keeps us moving forward. And the medal, obviously, you know, the medals from Tokyo is always, you know, it's always a motivator. I want to backtrack from Tokyo just a little bit. 2016, you hit a bump, right? And then yeah. that bump, tell us about it, because that was a precursor to your success at Tokyo Olympics. So look, for me, Rio 2016 was always a bonus. I, I actually haven't been an athlete or at that stage, I wasn't an athlete for very long. Uh, <coughs> I started running in 2013. So Rio, you know, Rio was always a bonus for me in terms of, of um, competing. Um, and I think for me, what motivated me after Rio was the valuable experiences that we, we could bring back from, from, you know, a disappointment and how to change that into something positive going forward. And let's talk about the something positive, setting an African record on a global stage, Tokyo 2020. Take us through that. Ew, it seems so long ago, hey, but it was really, so, so we went into the race with a, with a time goal. We had a goal that we, we had set for ourselves, um, you know, in our hearts and in our minds that we wanted to achieve. And we, we sort of took the stance that if you wanted to come along with us, do that. But we were, we were very adamant on we, we are going to run our own race. So, so we, we really just ran our own race. And, yeah, we managed to, to clinch a silver with an African record. And who could ask for more than a silver behind a world record? You know, the lady who won broke a world record. And that's really amazing. So you also had a race, a bronze in the T12 Women's Marathon, a new yeah. record time. Now, the moment you realized you were making history again, what did that feel like? I was very emotional in the marathon. I was, I actually cried a little bit during the race because um, my main focus is track. So for me, the marathon is always sort of like a bonus. Um, and, and we never expected in our wildest dreams that we would medal on both events. Now, Paris is on the horizon. What's the dream that you're heading towards for that one? 
I think to double up again would be very, very cool. So, you know, to do the, the, the marathon as well as the, the one five is going to be awesome um, if I'm selected for both. Um, and, you know, obviously to run a PB in both events would be awesome and to, to look at, you know, because a, a PB for me in the marathon would be breaking a new world record. So that would really be awesome. Um, yeah, I think our training will guide us in terms of where we're going to go now um, and what the future is going to look like. But I'm very excited and optimistic. Optimistic indeed, which brings me to my next question. Behind every great athlete is a great squad. Who is behind Team Lausanne and how do they get you ready for these milestones? Obviously, it's, it's two great guides, a road running guide and a track athlete guide. Um, obviously, also an amazing coach. Um, I also have an, a mental performance coach and then my family. Um, friends and I, I got married at the end of last year so obviously my husband also plays a big role in in supporting me through my journey which is really cool and I feel like the the para athletes the light tends to be a lot dimmer compared to other athletes how can we help showcase more of the great work that's been done I was actually saying to someone last night, there's such a huge difference from where I started in 2013 to the interest that the media is showing. So I, my message almost to, to you guys would be, please continue to do what you do, because ultimately you guys are the ones who are now putting us on the map. And there's a lot more interest from from South African media in terms of disabled and para athletes, you know. So please continue doing what you're doing. Show interest in our sport. It really means a lot to us as athletes. Um, yeah, we are. We 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 do it to share our journey and to share our love for the sport. Um, and thank you very much for showcasing that for us. Thank you so much, Luzanne. You are our speed queen, and we look forward to cheering you not just on the sidelines, but even in front of the screen. We'll be with you all the way. Thank you very much.